weekend, bridging our age gap with gusto. Falling for a guy just two years older than my adult son has been. Great. My history and experience excited him. His perspectives and sensitivity teach me. More than two years into our marriage, we still have a date night nearly every night. This sad irks my friends and family when I ignore their calls as I buzz around the house, uh, lighting candles and cooking dinner. Around 7 p.m., my husband and I sink into the couch at the cushion, a plate in hand, to watch a movie or listen to music. Nothing extra bargained, just co coziness and romance. <coughs> Our loved ones <laughs> have said, wait until you are together for seven years, or this is just the honeymoon page. You'll both had to get sick of each other. Maybe, but so far, we seem to be headed in the opposite direction. This is his first marriage and my third. Many people our rainy courthouse wedding. My future mother-in-law said, he'll be your last love and you'll be his only love. If you had asked me five years ago, if I would ever date again, I would have said not in a million years. I was a middle-aged woman, filing for divorce, sleeping in the family room until my then-husband moved out. I was, wasn't exactly an amicable split, but it wasn't war either. I think that we both knew it was over. We agreed that he could take almost everything except a few pieces of furniture, a couch, coffee table, yoga mat. He had bought most of it anyway, so it seemed fair that he should take it. After he left my life, but felt the spare and unencumbered, and I wanted it to stay that way. I work as a freelance and a makeup artist in Portland, Oregon, but bidding had been slow back then. So for extra income, I took a cashier job at the local Fred Mayer grocery store, which is where I met at Thailand. He strung me as gorgeous, with his long hair, piercing blue eyes, and hippie wardrobe. He worked the cash at the register too, but was the PIC, person in charge, who also had management the responsibilities.